Let's be honest, I wish this was clickbait, but it's not. It's really happening. Here we are, a new crib, very late start to the day, it's like, well. According to that clock, it's nearly quarter past nine. And it's definitely not quarter past nine, it's quarter to four in a day, so that's just showing the standard of hotel that I'm living in. Not even a hotel, it's just, I don't know what it is. But I'm here anyway, it's a little temporary hotel. Got evicted from the last place, so stuck in here. Not bad. Could have went for a little better colour with the bathroom, but you know, it is what it is, you get what you get. Paying cheap enough for him, staying here for like 16 days or some shit. Well, see how long it lasts in this place. It's not actually bad, there's a pool table and all. There's a big drop off there when you walk out of the room. Pool table, speakers, TV, pool sticks. Gaming PC, a few trophies, they look like off road trophies, rock climbing, yeah, 4x4 four four trophies. Don't know where that goes to, but we'll find out. I don't even know if there's any balls for this, probably have to ask for them. Yeah, I'm staying here for a bit. See how long I end up, or see how long I last in this place. I meant to stay here, as I said, for 16 days, but yeah, probably won't happen. I doubt that'll happen at all, actually. Yeah, so home sweet home, here we are. What to do, what to do. <laughs> I'm no good at this adult and stuff. I'm here about three hours and actually just set up the laptop and been playing on that for about three hours. Nothing's got, I put some shit in here, nothing really happened. You know, just kind of threw in some shorts up there, boxers, tops, just left the rest of it. And I don't think much else is gonna be happening other than me taking this all this shit out. Kinda got an idea for a video. I said something the money, I think I said fresh, and he was like, what do you mean? Then I explained at home what we say fresh for, like nice, good, whatever, like you look fresh. And then he was saying, oh, it's the first time I ever heard of that slang. And then he was saying, teach me more slang. And I was like, yeah, Ireland is known for fucking mad, crazy Irish slang. So I'll try to get a few different people from Bali, from Indonesia to be in the video, kinda try to teach them Irish slang. So I'm gonna have to write down a good few Irish slang to teach them and try to get them to reckon this place, try to get them to say it, explain it, understand it, so it should be good, I don't know, see how it goes, but back to this f***ing packing sh**, f*** you. There she is. The absolute animal. There's a temple. I don't know if I can use this or if I'm going to use this. I don't know if I'm allowed to use that if I'm not. But I'm definitely going to be buying milk and water and throwing it into that fridge. Because I don't have any in my room. But there's a big drop there. But we saw the term to come back to Bali and actually learn the language. Where I actually wrote down all the meanings all the science because when I was working in Oyan Bali all day every day me and everyone I was working with were just teach I was teaching them English they were teaching me Indonesian and then this is all the stuff I wrote down most of it I just cannot remember but some of it just came back like that I remembered some of it so I used to be able to count to like a hundred and something and now I can only count to like 10 or 11 or something and then all the greetings like good morning what was it Salama Pagi Look, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good boy, how are you? So I know most of what I wrote down what I remembered last year, but I need to start remembering more. So Muna said that he'll, he'll teach me Indonesian and I'll teach him Irish line, so that's a fair trade. Well, this is a long overdue Q&A that I should have done about four or five months ago, maybe. We put up a video saying I need help and we wanted to do a Q&A and we just never got back to doing it. And I didn't do that much today, honestly, I actually did nothing. And I didn't want to again throw in two days in tomorrow. Or I didn't want to try out the clips from today. So I said I'll throw in the Q&A, because I'm about four months late on that. The first one that I feel so bad about 
taking so long to answer is from Monica and I actually feel so bad from taking so long to answer it. Quick shout out to Monica and Ryan actually, they've been supporting me, we've been supporting them and boys first so we've just been supporting each other. Monica and Ryan, because daddy, they produce unreal content, the reason why we actually started got the balls to make videos from because daddy from Ryan. It's actually the exact reason why I'm in Bali right now sitting here making videos is because daddy is because because daddy. Do we have plans to go to America? Pretty much grown up my whole life I've always wanted to go to America. Well, America is one of those places that you just have to visit. You always see on TV, games, movies, music, everything. I, I, you see America everywhere and it's just kind of like idolized pretty much and that's where I want to go. I want to see America, definitely one day I have to see America. Ha, <laughs> funny enough, look at that. Because daddy liked your post. It's weird how the world works, isn't it? What do I use to edit what app? Sony Vegas Pro 13 or 14? I think 13. I've been using that since about five years now. I'm a fucking wizard at it. If I was to get a brand new boy, what would it be? Probably YZ125. Can't go wrong with a YZ and 125 is fucking ding ding ding. What's my favourite football team? Well, Ryan, I'm not a pussy. I do motocross. That requires two balls. Football is actually the most pussiest sport I've ever seen in my life. I lost the other questions. So I know one question was from Adrian Sweeney. He said, motocross or enduro? Probably neither. Probably just free riding and just hitting ramps. I'm not saying I'm fucking class at ramps doing whips and shit. It's just, I like hitting fucking ramps, you know? You don't have to be good at something to enjoy it. And I fucking enjoy hitting ramps or just fucking just being on my bike. But enduro and motocross are two completely different ball games. Enduro is kind of more technical, slow and fun. The biggest part that I love about enduro is the adventure. You don't know where the fuck you're going and the shit you see as well. But motocross is kind of more intense. So it's fucking flat out pain to the fucking moon, which I fucking love as well. So, ah, probably motocross really. I think it was Aaron Hurley that asked me, will I ever start racing motocross? Definitely, yeah, when I get back to Ireland, Rebuild my 125, I'm gonna start racing. Me, Frank, Luke, get a little team going, we just fucking blast out every track there is. Just do it for the fucking crack, why not? Give them see. Something else I forgot to throw in. People ask me, why do you make videos? Why bother we? Number one, for I find editing just fucking great. Like, motocross and editing to me are two equal. Put it this way, whatever you love, football, tennis, I don't know, it could be cooking, motocross for most people watching this. For me, motocross, this is what I love on this level. For me, editing is on the exact same level as motocross. I love both of them the exact same much, so for me, going to motocross, then editing the videos is fucking a win-win situation for me. The other side why I make videos is because the first time I was in Bali, it was actually the best experience I've ever had in my life, and when I went home, I was like, shit, I wish I recorded what I did, because it was just, you can't match what I did. It was actually the best experience I've ever had in my life. So the very first year I went to Bali, I didn't record at all. I literally recorded one day, it was like, uh, Bali water sports, I'm flying home, I bought my first little cheap GoPro. Then the second year I went is when I actually started making videos. Ooh and started uploading videos, that was last year, and thank god I actually did start that. And when I continue to start making videos still in Bali, so 10, 15, 20 years, I can look back at these videos and say, shit, look at the amount of shit I actually did. It's actually the best experience anyone will get in their life. And at the same time, for the present moment, while everyone's at home, they can see what I'm getting up to in Bali, and what fucking shit talking and talking to the camera, so yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna go to bed. Well, I'm not actually I'm gonna edit this video, then go to bed. I'm sweating, it's like 30 degrees out. Could you blame me? No. <laughs> That's why I'd much prefer staying in here with like 18, I don't know, like 18 degrees, something like that. Anyway, he's gonna leave this video here. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment saying whatever the fuck you want, saying literally anything. Just drop a comment, share it with a friend, do whatever you want. Abuse me in the comments, abuse me in the messages, I don't care. It's all power, fun, and games. I'm gonna leave this video here. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later. Damn, I feel amazing. Damn, I'm in the matrix. My mind is living on cloud nine, and this nine is never.